Good morning, what is up? What is happening today? It's gonna be a bit of a spring maintenance session. Last week, I got a whole box of goodies from Mokoff. Did a little unboxing, we're gonna flash back to that right now. I also got my mom a brand new Genius Contessa, that thing is absolutely sick. However, I had planned to go for a ride, but then I got a little bit under the weather, as you might be able to hear from my voice and didn't manage to go out for a ride. So let's throw back to then. I'm gonna go and start washing the bikes and I'll catch you guys up there in just one second. Ah, uh, excellent. These things are absolutely amazing for making your bike look completely brand new. The all important bike cleaner, some drivetrain cleaner, some stuff to make the van ultra clean too. And then finally, a bike chain cleaner. This is gonna be good. So onto the Shimano stuff. Let's see what's inside. The XTR stuff that I've been waiting for for another new bike build that will be coming very soon. Bag of hubs, chain ring for XTR cranks, mech front hub finally, a stem for the build. You guys are gonna love this build because I am seriously excited for it. Okay, so this is going to be the bike's first wash since it was in South Africa and then Switzerland. My first tip for you guys when you're getting your bike ready for a spring maintenance session is give it a good wash and start by making sure that everything is really wet before you apply that muck off. So I've given the bike a really good wet down. Now I'm gonna get my muck off. Just gonna cover the bike entirely in it and then leave it for maybe a minute to two minutes before I get the details with the brush to get every single bit of dirt and grime out of all the nukes and crannies. So a couple of minutes have gone by and I've come back with some brushes. I've got this really soft one right here and then more one for details, getting into the drivetrain. It's a bit more bristly. We're just gonna go over the bike and give it a good scrub. So we're going for another rinse off just to get all the soap off, not leaving it on for too long. Then we're going to flip the bike upside down and do this all over, really clean the tires and the wheels. Ah, looking better already, let's carry on. Okay, so on to the last part. I'm gonna use a little bit of this drivetrain cleaner. Never used this stuff before, but just to try and get any excess oil off, I've got a couple of detailing brushes right here. I'm gonna use them to make it immaculate. And now we get onto the garage maintenance side of stuff. We actually check the whole bike over. But first of all, what I'm gonna do is take the wheels out and then give it a really good dry off. So now what we're gonna do is basically just use these microfiber cloths. They're so, so good. They absorb the moisture and they leave a really nice finish on the bike. And just go over the whole thing, get rid of any water. And then we're gonna give it a little polish off as well. The next thing that we're going to do is use a little bit of this stuff, it's called Bike Protect. I, uh, I just spray it onto the, the rag that I've been using, or the fiber cloth. And then I just go all over the frame entirely, making sure that every single bit has got some of this stuff. 
And what I like about this is that when it actually comes to wash it the next time, it puts this kind of film on it and the dirt just falls off really easy. So it's like kind of almost a hack, two in one. We're just gonna rub that right over the frame. And already it's putting a nice, a nice finish on it, making it shine. So now we're just gonna get into some of the finer details. I'm gonna use this flat headed screwdriver. And what I'm gonna do with it is actually just run it around the jockey wheels and get all the dirt and the grime that is built up from behind there out. And then I'm gonna use a wet wipe to clean up there and make sure that it's looking sparkling. Well, kind of. Yeah. Okay, that is all cleaned up. Now we're gonna go on and check the brakes. Pads on the rear look good. Pads on the front, also good. So we can get those wheels back in and then give the full thing a check over. So before I actually go ahead and put the wheels back onto the bike, I just want to make sure that they're running true, which they should be, because these things are, are solid. And I also want to just give them a little clean up and a dry off. Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick product update because I like to keep you guys up to date with what is going on. The wheels I've been using are from We Are One Composites. I'd never really used a carbon rim. Was a bit dubious at first of actually using a carbon wheel, but I have to say I'm really impressed. They've stood up to everything that I've thrown at them. South Africa, Israel, at home, Switzerland, and trust me, I've smashed some turns, thrown them into rocks, and there's been no problems at all. Not even had to true or touch them. So if you want a carbon rim, then maybe you should check those guys out. Let's put this back onto the bike and we can carry on with the service. So we are finally getting there with the bike. The wheels are back on, it's looking nice and clean. It is looking really sharp. However, we have still got to go over absolutely everything all the pivot bolts, make sure that everything is tight. My new favorite tool has got to be a torque wrench. Just getting it exactly set and then hearing that satisfying click and knowing that the bolt is done up correctly is oh so good. So we're gonna grab that now out of the bench and then check the complete bike over, head to toe or wheel to handlebar and then it should be ready to go. So bike is looking absolutely spotless. It's all checked over. It's almost ready to go. But one thing that I do want to try is this new chain cleaner that I got a few weeks ago. I've um, never used one of these things before. So I think it'd be really useful. There's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of grime as you can see from my finger right there. So hopefully that's gonna take it off. Then we're gonna oil it and then do the very final checks and then it'll be ready to ride. So it seems quite intuitive. The chain actually runs through that section there. You had a little bit of this, wind around a few times, and then it should come out clean. Let's try it. First step seems easy. Now we add that to cleaner. Okay, so summer hasn't quite come around yet. It's still wet and a bit miserable outside, so we need some wet lube. It's one of my favorite lubes, and we're just gonna apply a light application right around the whole chain. Leave that for just a minute or two, let it soak into the chain, then we're gonna wipe off any excess. Quick run through of the gears to make sure that it's all shifting right. And there we go, bike is completely checked over. Everything is ready to go. All that remains is for me to check the front and the rear tire pressures and also the fork and the shock. If you enjoyed this vlog, then please, please do give a thumb up like and do not forget to subscribe because I'll see you guys very soon on the trails for some more good times.